Hello, this is Chris with Phoenix Gaming. Today I want to go over Witch Cult again. We just had a data slate not that long ago. I've gotten a few games with them since the points drop, and I just wanted to touch on how I feel about the changes. Before we dig in, I want to go over a few quick announcements. It's going to be brief. I just want to remind everybody that I'm going to be having a much lower video output than previously. We're probably looking at one video a week to maybe one video every other week. As I prepare for a few things, I've got a huge workload from Games Workshop right now as I build for a project for them. And then I've got Tampa coming up, so I'm trying to get as much time in with my other job as well. Because I work GW and I work a part-time at the same time while doing this. So I want to make sure I can get as much work in with that as I can so that when I get to Florida, I can have some money to actually spend and enjoy on things. So... I'm also trying to make sure I get a, a bunch of extra family time in before we head out as well. So it's just one of those where I wanted to remind everybody that's that's what I've got going on. That's a couple of the reasons we've seen the content output go down. I also wanted to share with everybody, I had spoken on losing weight and kind of improving my health and fitness. And to this day, I am officially 20 pounds less than I was. And most of it has been honestly over the last two to three months the adderall prescription has helped quite a bit not simply because it's an amphetamine and a stimulant but because i am no longer having these weird dopamine seeking habits you know my brain is better able to process things because it's not constantly trying to get that dopamine spike so I just wanted to touch on that a little bit. I'll probably do a whole separate video on my personal channel and share my story there a little bit more, but I wanted to touch on it here. And then one other thing, if you guys are interested, a lot of my regular games that I write, I've told you before, I've got projects that I work on. I am going to be slowly porting those over so that they work with Legos and that'll make it a lot easier for me to be able to play them with people. And one of those projects was fantasy, as all of you know. And then another one is a Halo project that I've been working on with my son. So if you're interested in the Halo one, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to share it. And then I will be expanding on my my games that I cover as well. So be prepared. I'm going to be looking at Song of Ice and Fire this week or next when I get some free time as well. So just just a heads up, we're going to be talking about some different games. First of all, let's talk about the points adjustments. We know the Succubus went down 20, and these are estimates because I don't have the old points right in front of me, but I'm pretty sure I'm spot on with a lot of this. Uh, Succubus down 20 from 75 to 55, which is down 20 from 110 to 90. So the Succubus dropping and the Witches dropping make the Succubus worth her cost. Her enhancement is 20, so really you can get her and her enhancement in a unit of witches and you're still netting points. So it's one of those where this is very solid. She does really good things with the witches. She's not as good as maybe Lilith, but she definitely provides her own buff and her own unique way of, of kind of getting into units and, and doing her own work. So I did run her a few games. I've had good success with her. You just have to know what targets you're putting her into. Uh, the witches are still kind of meh, but being cheaper does make them a bit more palatable. It's just one of those where I still feel like they underperform. It's just now that they're cheap enough, it doesn't hurt as much if they underperform. I'm just like, well, at least I have a cheap unit that I can go do something with. So... Hellions are down 15. I still feel like these are overpointed. That's 20 points a model for 100 points for the unit. And I just don't... I haven't put them on the table, but I, I think there's just better options for the same points. Lilith went down 10. And, man, she was an auto-take at 95 for me. She's an auto-take at 85 for me. And when you think about the fact that the witches went down 20, you're netting 30 points. That's half a squad of mandrakes you can now fit in. So if you, like my old list, right, I was running two or three squads of Cabalites, depending on which iteration I was running, and then one squad of Witches. Between the points drops on the Cabalites, the points drops on the Witches, and the points drops on Lilith, that effectively let me bring one squad of Mandrakes, because they also went down. 
Reavers, I don't know where they were, but they're sitting at 70. I think they just went down five. I think they were 75 for a unit of three. And it's one of those where they're solid. I've got no complaints on them. I wish their melee was just a touch better, but overall, it's it's a good unit. It's been a good unit. I just haven't played much with it. Now that I've played, I took 20 Witches to an RTT. I did go undefeated, and I've played a couple other games with them and done really well. I still think the Witches are just a touch underwhelming, but like I said, being cheaper and being able to bring the Succubus for cheaper helps a lot. You know, she gives them sustained hits, so if you empower, you can really do a lot of work. You know, the original unit was 205 with the enhancement. It's 165 now, and that's a about a 20% drop for the whole unit. Like I said, they the, the witches themselves still just kind of feel meh by themselves, but they're at least worth their points now. If I send them into something, and then they kill a few models, and I lose a few models, I'm not upset. You know, they are solid into enemy infantry as long as you pick the right infantry targets. They're okay into Marines just through weight of dice by themselves, but the, they're going to struggle in that, that attrition battle. Like, the Marines are going to end up winning the attrition battle. But, man, you hit, like, Custodes or Gravis that are T6, and they're by themselves. Cool, man. I still think Hellions look a bit underwhelming. Like I said, at 20 points a model, and they just have, like, they have bad shooting. Their melee's okay, but losing the infantry keyword, they just seem kind of expensive. Uh, if I get a game in this week, which I should at least get two, I'm going to make a list with some Hellions and kind of test them out. Uh, what I might do is take my league list and just see how much points I have and see what I can bring. And then go from there. For Tampa, I'm considering something very similar to the list I took at my RTT, which is 20 Witches, 30 Cabalites, a Raider, 2 Venoms, 10 Incubi, 5 Mandrakes, 2x5 two Scourges, 2x2 two two Talos, Archon, Lilith, Succubus, uh, Enhancements, and Drazar. And honestly, I might have had 3 Venoms. I'm not looking exactly at it. It might have been 20 Cabalites and 2 Venoms, or 30 Cabalites and 2 Venoms, but that's effectively what I took at my RTT. I do have one more RTT prior to Tampa. I will be the ringer for the event, so I won't have any kind of like placing or anything, but I'll at least get to put the list on the table and see how it functions. You know, it's one of those where win or lose, my opponent will automatically win, but I'll at least know if I can score points and do what I can do with it. And that's that's what's important. And like I said, I'll, I'll, I will definitely test Hellions. I may just test Hellions at that tournament as well. That's really what I wanted to talk about. I think the points adjustments do help witches. They give them a bit more utility and a bit more justification. If you are like me and you got into this army for the melee, you're feeling a little down and disappointed right now, or at least you were, and this does help. You know, keep in mind also, Drazar and the Incubi went down, so a lot of the melee centric units got cheaper, and while it doesn't fix the inherent issues some of them had, it does at least help when you can just bring more. You know, I thought Incubi were pretty solid as far as the data sheet goes, so getting a points drop actually makes them pretty good. Whereas Witches, the data sheet's a little lackluster, so getting a points drop is just like, it's like Gretchen. You don't take Gretchen because they're good, you take them because they're cheap. And that's where Witches are kind of sitting, in my opinion, right now. But the character support does help out. And man, the Succubus, now that she's not 75 points, She's, she's 75 with her enhancement is, to me, basically an auto-take. She's super good. I have had really good experiences with her. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments. If you've got any kind of questions or concerns, let me know, and I will talk to you all later. We'll do a little shameless advertising. There are some Amazon links in the description. They are for Mega Constructs and Halo sets. Like I said at the beginning of the video, my son and I have been working on stop-motion Halo videos and also game rules that we can use for the Lego Constructs in our game. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some Amazon links for that in the description. And then if you are interested in seeing how that game plays out, I'm going to be doing videos of my son and I kind of walking through it. And you get to see kind of the playtesting process with him. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. I appreciate it. Big shout out to my immortals, Captain Too Tall, The Real Donnie G, Lord Wellingstone, Daniel Bodecker. I will be shutting down the Patreon in October. 
at least for the month of October, because of my content output going down. I don't feel it's right to take support from people if I'm not putting out the quantity and quality content that I feel like I should be in order to earn that support. So I'm going to shut it down for a month or two while I finish up everything with GW and we get ready for the holiday season. So thanks a lot.